This song, believe me. They'll cheer, whistle, applaud. Women will throw children out of the balcony. <laughs> This will break up the theater. You can say that again. It's a swell number. You wait until you hear Dixie sing it. Oh, don't argue with them, Caroline. They just haven't got an ear for music. No, but I got a nose. What am I gonna do with you guys? This will top anything in the show, Skipper. I don't know, Dixie. Well, maybe you don't know, but I know a great song when I hear it. I don't know. This was written by a great songwriter. In fact, he was the greatest songwriter in the world. I was up half the night writing it. <laughs> hey, Charlie, get over here to the piano. Let's really do this thing. <laughs> Some folks like their privacy, but I don't care. My love affair is public property. I don't care if the world knows about it. It's hard to disguise it when your eyes advertise it. All I know is that I love you. I'm so proud I could stand up and shout it. Tell all the people from the top of the steeple. Hey, they're Mr. My Dreams Come True. Mm, I know now why Niagara Falls. It doesn't fall for the view. Like me, it's been falling for wonderful you, yeah. I don't care if the world knows about it. I'm willing to let it. They can all take the credit. All I know is that I love you. Mm, I know now why the Eiffel Tower keeps smiling down at the view. It's getting an Eiffel, baby, a wonderful you, yeah. I don't care if the world knows about it. My cousin in Aurora or the whole Corridora. All I know is that I love you. What I tell you, it's great. It's a breeze. I still don't think it'll go. Well, that does it. Now I know it's a hit. He said the same thing about Dardanella. <laughs> Dixie? Sin. What I tell you, baby? Dixie, you're wonderful. Well, <laughs> who am I to disagree? Come on, sucker, you owe me a drink. See, this nose has cost me more drinks. <laughs> Maybe it is good. I don't know. I know. I've been wrong before. Yeah. Carolina. Oh, hello, darling. And tell her I'll never forget her wherever. Wherever I've roamed. You look like you've got something behind your back. Just remember Mine. me. Oh, Dixie, no, what don't. do you got? The Carolina. Oh, don't tease me, darling. Come on, what do you got behind your back? I won't tell you. You know, I wrote that song for you. I mean, I couldn't sing it for anyone else. Yes, I know you did, but I still oh, want to see what you got behind your back. Dusty and Sis? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, here it is. Oh, Dixie. You never forget our anniversary, do you? Day after day. In Dixie, every way. The bracelet. I love oh, you darling, it's better. beautiful. <laughs> I remember that day we saw it. Here's what I write. You mean when we went window wishing? Uh-huh. You knew I wanted it. <laughs> I do the same for all my wives. Oh, you such a kid. You'll never grow up. Let's stay that way. I'll be any way you want me to be. You know, we've laughed off a lot of tough times together, from honky tongues right up to Broadway. But it was fun. I remember when you used to say love for the world and to laugh right back at you. Yeah, but we're on our way now, on the big time. When this show opens, I'll be in there punching. I hope I'm with you. But if I'm not, we'll both be rooting for you. Caroline, we're going to give that kid everything. A lot of things we never had. Oh, darling, if our baby has just half what we've had, he'll be lucky. You know I love you more and more every day. But today I'll love you like tomorrow. Oh. Boy, seen Dixie Boy Johnson. Haven't seen him, Mr. Dan. Hey, Joan, move that spot over on a bit. 
glasses. Where's Dixie? Well, he's calling the hospital. What again? You think nobody ever had a baby before? Well, he's interested naturally. You'd be too. Not yet. How is she? You sure? You sure everything's okay? Dixie, come on, will you? The curtain's going up. Take it easy, will you, Lou? Call me as soon as it happens, will you? You won't forget. Thanks very much. Lou, I tell you, I ought to be there. I ought to be with Caroline. Can't you put glasses on in my place tonight? Look, thousands of babies are born every day. This is an opening night. But maybe she needs me. She doesn't need you. You can do Caroline and the baby a lot more good right here. Curtain going up in one minute, Mr. Dyer. Come on, will you? Lou, I stay? tell you, I ought to be there. Will you please come on, Dixie? so fast last night. I was running to stop a fight. Who was fighting? Me and another fella. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, Joe, what are you squirming for? What makes you so nervous? Uh, I ain't nervous. I'm just worried on account of my clothing store. I didn't know you had a clothing store. I didn't say I had a clothing store. You certainly said you had a clothing store. I did not say I had a clothing store. Did I say I had a clothing store? Uh, no. Uh, there's a nail here in my chair in my clothing store. Yeah. <laughs> hey, look at here, Mr. Interlocutor. What is it, Tiny? You, you realize you is now working with, talking to, and gazing up on uh, a smart man? So you call yourself a smart man, Tiny? Well, now, if you don't think I'm smart, just approach me, big boy. Hey, approach me. How smart are you, Tiny? Well, now, listen close. If it takes 187 yards of green calico to make an elephant a wrestling jacket, how long will it take a bow-legged fly with a cork leg to crawl through a barrel of molasses? You got me, Tiny. I'm stuck. So was the fly. <laughs> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, as our first specialty in this evening of gala divertisement, I take great pleasure in introducing that king of terpsichore, Mr. Johnny Boy. Where's Dixie Boy? Well, he's on stage. The show has just started. It's a girl. Carolyn's got a girl. Six and a half pounds. Great. That's wonderful. We've got to get the news to Dixie. his own popular ballad, Remember Me to Carolina, I am proud to present our star, Dixie Boy Johnson.
Dixie! 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 Dixie
always got a silver station Some silly thing to which they cling I have only had one superstition I know that I could never start To sing without my walking stick And my old top hat My folder all and my this and my that I couldn't even hum a strain without this bamboo cane. On the bowl of barley, my soup and fish, roll my eyes at some dainty dish. But I'm not so hot in lover's lane without my bamboo cane. I'm Aladdin, here's my lamp. Bamboo magic. Press to change, Joe, and I'm the champ With my walking stick and my old top hat You won't find me at the automat If you take away my stock and trade How could I ever see Cindy When you roll those hypnotizing eyes Pretty baby, don't you realize It would drive me insane Cause with me it's a label I wouldn't be able to warble that haunting refrain. No, 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 no. I couldn't sing a lick without this stick, my band. Hey. What an audience, boy, what an audience. Still knock him dead, can't he? I'll say he can. That guy's a hit in any man's theater. Yeah, there's a lot of spots I can use him in. A lot of other people think that way, too. Gonna cost you more dough if you want to keep him. Let's cut the show talk, Evans. What's your price? Oh, a hundred a week? Okay, you got yourself a deal. Oh, uh, let's keep this between you and me. I'll take care of Dixie. Well, the guy's gotta get along, hasn't he? Okay, see me in my office. Listen, do while I serenade you, adorable Cindy. When you roll those hypnotizing eyes, can you blame a little heart that size? Pretty baby, be mine. Mm, Cindy, don't you captivating southern charms? Right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Say you're sweeter than honeysuckle. That's what you are to me. How would you like to cuddle beneath a magnolia tree? Confidentially, Cindy, cotton blossom time is coming soon. How's about the Dixie honeymoon? Now won't you say you'll be mine? Cross your heart, you'll be mine. Pretty baby, be mine. Rock. Did you hear? Uh, you tell him, Nate. Look, Dixie, there's a couple of things I want to talk to you about. Not tonight. I'll see you in a moment. I've got something very important to do right now. Wait a minute, Dixie. Look, I'm not giving you the brush off, Bill, but this is something that's five years overdue. Yeah, I know. Okay. Dixie! Les! Come on in. What have you been doing with yourself? Where you been? When'd you get in? Take Wait. it easy. Take it easy. One at a time. Oh, gosh, I'm glad to see you, Dixie. Glad to see you. Good to see you, pal. Yeah. Boy, you're really living. Yeah, I've been doing all right. First time in my life I ever had a bank account. Well, you can't knock that. <laughs> How's May? Oh, she's fine. She... She'll be glad to see you, Dixie. And the baby, little Caroline? Oh, she's swell. I'm dying to see you. Wow. Say, May, look who's here. I see him. Hello, May. Hello, Dixie. Does he look swell? Oh, he's the same old Dixie. He just got back. Oh, it's great to see him again, isn't it, May? How's the baby? Listen, Dixie, there's no need for us to spar. You walked out on that baby the day she was born and dropped her in our lap. Well, I appreciate everything you've both done. We haven't asked for gratitude or appreciation. But get this straight. You asked us to take care of her, and we have. Lasses and I have tried to make a home for her. She's had the right kind of love, happiness, and care. And now suddenly, out of nowhere, you appear. Why? But I want her, May. I know you do, but you're not getting her. She's grown up believing Lassus and I are her parents. And now you want to take her away from us. But May, she's his daughter. His? He pulled a perfect disappearing act, never once letting us know where he was 
what he was doing, whether he was dead or alive. And as for little Caroline, he never was father. You didn't even send her a postcard on her birthday. But I never forgot her, May. Well, you certainly kept it a secret. I don't know what brought you back, unless it was your conscience, if you have any. But whatever it is, I know it's bad medicine for Caroline. Stop it, May. I won't let you talk to him like that. He hasn't got it coming to him. What's he got to offer Caroline? Some actor's hotel off time, fried egg sandwiches, education out of variety. Get wise, Dixie. You haven't anything to give her. It's his child, May. You must realize Poor that. Oh, little asses. Uh, May's right. I'm way out of line. I just can't give her the things that... Dixie. Wait. No, lasses. She doesn't even know me. Maybe it's better if I don't see her. Keep her out of here. I got some terrific spots lined up for you. I was talking to a guy just last night. I don't care. I gotta get away. I don't care where you book me. Just get me out of town. I can't figure you out, Dixie. You were swell at the opium last night. Look, Bill, I gotta get away. There's a reason. I don't know, Dixie. I'll give you 20%. 20%? I could set you in Havana. Havana? Yeah, Havana. Buenas noches, senores, senoras y senoritas. And now, we bring you that great American entertainer, that singer of nostalgic ditties, just as you saw him in New York, and here he is, Dixie Boy Johnson. We saw him years ago in New York. Remember, dear? Oh, yes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. 
foolish fancy may be. You know, dear, that I'm in love with you. And every cloud must have a silver lamp, they may be. Wait until the sun shines through. Why don't you smile, my honey dear, while I kiss away each tear? Or else I shall be nothing. Remember me to Carolina. Sing Carolina. Carolina. Let's have Carolina. I want Carolina. Yeah, Carolina. Sure, Carolina. <laughs> Get her where, wherever I roam. Just remember me to Carolina when the dusk is falling. Her sweet voice is calling me home. Day after day, in every way, I love her better. Night after night, in what I write, in every love, love letter. trying to do, Johnson? Bust up my show? I'm sorry. I went to pieces. Oh, you're sorry. Those people out there want entertainment, not apologies. Well, it's that song. I couldn't sing it. Oh, don't give me that. What do you think I've got you out there for? You don't understand. That song reminds me of something that's... Hey, listen, wise up. When that crowd out there calls for a song, they want it. And as long as you're Dixie Boy Johnson, they're going to want Carolina. We better call our deal off, Morton. City editor. Hello, Charlie. This is Lassus White again. Anything new about Dixie Johnson? Still missing, huh? Let me know if you hear anything, will you, Charlie? Thank you. What did he say, Lassus? Doesn't sound good, May. They think they picked up the last of the survivors. They're still searching. Oh, 
Lassus. It's my fault. I've told you a hundred times. You didn't have anything to do with it. You didn't put him on that boat. But I sent him away. Why did you let me do it? Why did you stop me? Now, May, May. I was only thinking of Caroline. I didn't want her to get hurt. I felt that sending him away was best for all of us. I know, but now we'll have to tell her. Uh, let me tell her, Lassus. I'm sure I can make her understand. Good evening, sir. I hope you have a wonderful birthday, honey. How about glasses? Just one, you know, I'm seen. Well, one will be enough. I'll get the other 15 later. Oh, gosh, everything looks so wonderful. Yes, your Annie nearly drove us crazy getting it ready for you. Oh, everything looks so ravishing. Mm -hmm. And don't I look ravishing? All right, ravishing. But you'd better turn it on for Lou Dunn. I feel tingling tonight. I'm going to put everything I've got in it. I'm really going to send them. Send him? Yeah, that's Bobby sock for selling. Yeah, put it up. When Uncle Lou walks out of here tonight, Minstrel Man will be in the bag. Well, it had better be, or we'll be holding it. Now, be it. Hi. Hello. Hello, Hello. 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 Hello Uncle Lou. How does it feel to be 16 years old, young lady? You ought to know, Uncle Lou. You're only a couple years older than that yourself, aren't you? <laughs> <laughs> and they tell me I have a line. <laughs> Telling you it's going to be tough. Once Lou Dunn makes up his mind, no, it's no. And we won't take no for an answer, that's all. Do you think we'll have any trouble? I'm sure it'll work. Hello, boys. <laughs> Hello, man. Do you think he's in a good mood? Well, he is, but I'm still a little scared. Now, don't be afraid. You'll knock him off his feet. Oh, I want to answer. 
flowers from Miss Carolyn Johnson. Thank you. Sign here, please. Okay. There Thank you. Gee, they're beautiful. I almost thought you had forgotten this year, but I should have known better. I'll put them in the icebox. Every year on her birthday, ever since the Mara Castle. But it can't be him, eh? We know it can't. Do we know? I tell you, it's a great idea, Lou. We can't let it slip through our fingers. Think of it. A streamlined minstrel show right on Broadway. No good. Minstrel shows are dead. That's what they said about vaudeville. Grillesque, too. And a pack of them in. What is this, a squeeze play? You've got to listen. We've got it all worked out. Oh, it's no good. I wouldn't risk it for a lot of reasons. What reasons? All right, where am I going to get another Dixie Boy Johnson? We've got the next thing to it. <laughs> what? Just relax, Lou. You're in for a treat. Come on, baby. Give, will you? Folks like their privacy, but I don't care. My love affair is public property. I don't care if the world knows about it. It's hard to disguise it when your eyes advertise it. All I know is that I love you. I'm so proud I could stand up and shout it and tell all the people from the top of the steeple, hey there, mister, my dreams come true. I know now why Niagara Falls, it doesn't fall for the view. Like me, it's been falling for wonderful you. I don't care if the world knows about it, I'm willing to let it, they can all take the credit. All I know is that I love you. With the muscle, all the girl with the muscle. All I know is that I love you. I'm so proud I could publish your paper and print my ambition in the five star edition. Extra, extra, her dream came true. I know now why the Eiffel Tower keeps smiling down at the view. It's getting an eye. Girl, Johnson. As some of you may remember, I'm not prone to making long speeches. <laughs> I just want to say that the revival of Minstrel Man is far more important than just the production of another show. For one thing, it means that after all these years, Minstrelsy will have its rebirth on Broadway. Youth, the addition of ladies to the cast, seasoned, experienced troopers, together should make fine entertainment. All right, Frank, let's get going, huh? Places, please. Rehearsal for the first number. <laughs> Time is half past eight, and the place is the garden gate. Boy says time to spoon, and the girl says I just assume beautiful baby. You see, Caroline, your father wasn't the greatest singer in show business, but he was one of the best stylists. And in minstrel work, style means everything. It's too high, Aunt May. Well, you can try it anyway. And remember, honey, you can't copy style. It has to come from within, from your own personality. You mean you want me to sell it? Exactly. It's sold. Cindy, when you're all sympathizing eyes, can you play a little heart that sighs? Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, put your cap to bed in southern charms. Right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Than honeysuckle, that's what you want to me. How would you like to cuddle 
me the magnolia tree confidentially send me cotton blossom down as cousin soon about a dixie honey won't you say you'll be mine? Cross your heart, you'll be mine. Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, when you load those hypnotizing eyes, can you blame the little heart that sighs? Pretty baby, be mine. Cindy, put your captivating southern charms right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. You're sweeter than honeysuckle, that's what you are to me. How would you like to cuddle neath a magnolia tree confidentially Cindy? Cotton blossom time is coming soon. How's about the Dixie honeymoon? Won't you say you'll be mine? Cross your heart, you'll be mine. For the baby be mine. I'm gonna build me a building 50 stories high I'm gonna build me a building 50 stories high So I can stand on top and watch my mama when she's passing by Melancholy baby, cuddle up and don't be All your fears, they're foolish fancies, maybe. You know, dear, that I'm in love with you. Every cloud. That silver lining. Thank you. You gotta wait until the sun shines through, baby, baby. Why don't you smile, my honey dear? Let me kiss away each tear, or else I shall be. Dixie? I said, hello, Dixie. Here, mistake, fellow. My name's Carter. Carter, huh? Yeah, Jack Carter. Stop kidding, Dixie. I'm Bill Evans, your old agent. I got a tip you were here in Frisco. So I am, Dixie Boy Johnson. What do you want? You certainly blew out of civilization. Everybody thought you went down with the Morrow Castle. That's exactly what I want them to think, and I'll forget that you ever saw me. You think I came all the way across country to play games? What did you come for? Lou Dunn is doing a revival of Minstrel Man. Big cast and a lot of dough in it. You came all the way out here to tell me that? You still own the rights to the show, don't you? What about it? Dixie gets your big chance. A chance to make a lot of dough and at the same time settle an old score with Dunn. I'm not interested in settling any old scores. All I want is to be left alone. Okay, if that's the way you feel about it. <laughs> I never thought I'd live to see the day when Dixie Boy Johnson would be singing in a dive like this. Dunn is lapping up his sleeve the way he grabbed your show. Wait a minute, Evans. Let me buy you a little drink. Okay.
still don't like this thing. Don't be a sucker, Dixie. You're not going to back out now. I ain't let Dunn cash in on your show. Maybe you're right. Would I steer you wrong? Wait here and I'll look up Dunn. Sorry, I'm on right after this number in my dress. Would you please? Well, sure, I'm an old hand at this. Gee, I'm scared. This is my first show. Nothing to be scared about. Everybody gets nervous on opening nights. I guess so. Uncle Lasses is jumping out of his skin. And he says even my father used to get a little nervous breakdown every opening night. Your father? Oh, he was the greatest minstrel man in show business. You'll, you'll have to stand still because I'm getting nowhere with you fast. <laughs> These hooks and eyes aren't very good. But wait a minute, we're sort of fumbling here. Now, just relax now. I'll get to it. You're on next. Goodbye and wish me luck. I'll be rooting for you. It is you. Hello, May. I knew it. Those camellias. Can you ever forgive me? Nothing to forgive you for. But I sent you away. I've always regretted it. Well, let's not talk about that now. When you ever sit my eyes and eyes, can you play them a little hard and size? Southern charm, right to daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Sweeter than honey suckle, that's what you are to me. How would you like to cuddle? Need a magnolia tree, confidentially, Cindy. Cotton blossom time is coming soon. How's about a Dixie honey moon? Won't you say you'll be mine? Cindy, when you roll with my eyes and eyes, can you blame a little heart that sighs? Pretty baby, be mine. He's a great kid, isn't he? Oh, she's a wonderful kid. Put your cap to his southern charms, right in daddy's ever loving arms, and everything will be fine. Sweeter than a honey suckle, that's what you want to me. How would you like to cuddle? The magnolia three confidential is Cindy. Hot and lost time is coming soon. How's about a Dixie honeymoon? Don't you say you'll be mine. Of course, you have to be a mine. A baby, baby, be mine. Done off. He wants to talk to you. I haven't anything to talk to Don about. You haven't anything? Wait a minute, Johnson. How about the deal you and I made in Frisco? There wouldn't have been any deal if I'd have known Lasses May and my kid were in on the setup. Why, you're not thinking straight. Add it up. May giving you the brush off. Lasses swiping your roll to make a name for himself, and both of them grooming your kid for their meal ticket. Mister, you've had your pocketbook lifted, your show stolen, and your daughter turned against you. Dixie Boy Johnson. Hello, <laughs> <Why>? <laughs> I didn't believe this termite. Are you going to let this guy take you for a ride? Maybe you like being kicked around. Beat it, Evan. Beat it? Hey, listen, Johnson. Mike, Jim. All right, okay, I'll do it. But you're not going to get away with this. 
Well, it's swell seeing you again. <laughs> Thanks, Lou. You know how I feel. <laughs> well, I'd better be shoving off. Oh, no, you don't. You're not going to get away this time. Then may I? You can't, can't talk yourself out of it. You're going to stay right here. Or must I get Mike and Jim to help me out with you two? Look, I can't. Come on upstairs and see that. Sunny day, you find me right there, climbing that stairway, shaking hands with the sun, traveling on. Oh, what a wonderful day on the sunshine special. I'm riding high. Hey, 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 the rain will make way for a guy who's shaking hands with the sun, climbing a cloud, trumpeting loud the good news. Hallelujah, brother, the die is cast. There's a great day coming at last. There's a great day coming at last. Shaking hands with a cloud, flying in a cloud, laughing in love, the good news. Hallelujah, the die is cast. There's a great day coming at last. Songbirds are mating and care. 